Hey, what's happening? So, Phil Coutinho. Is Phil Coutinho a snake? Sure. Go, go ahead. Why not? Listen, there is absolutely no escaping the fact that Felipe Coutinho, whether we want to use the term snake or not, and everyone seems to love that term at the moment, it is one of those hot terms on the internet for the last couple of years. People love it. What he definitely is, is a bell end. This is a big issue that Liverpool have to face now. The transfer window is shut and Phil Coutinho is still a Liverpool player despite the efforts on his part, on Barcelona's part and possibly, reading between the lines, maybe even a little bit of say from Jurgen Klopp as well. But despite the money that was offered and despite all of those remonstrations from the player himself, no, he is a Liverpool player. He is back in training this week and Liverpool face a season, at least until January certainly, with a real dilemma over the future of the player. Now, what Liverpool have seen already is, of course, players like Mamadou Sacco acted like a bell end, got booted out by Jürgen Klopp, and inevitably, after a period of training with the under 23s, got a loan to Palace. Eventually, the deadline they moved there permanently. But for Liverpool, this is a very unique set of circumstances. Now, we've had players try to engineer moves in the past. Luis Suarez, prime example, wanted to go to Arsenal. They offered £40 million and a quid. It didn't work out. There were some issues about whether he had a buyout clause or not. We basically told him to shut up and get on with it. And he did. He came back to Liverpool and he was genuinely phenomenal. On the other hand, Raheem Sterling complained about money, made himself to be a complete bell end, And Liverpool took the cash and sold him to Man City for a princely 50 odd million quid. Good riddance. The big question mark for me hangs over not in characterising Phil Coutinho, his personality in terms of is he a good guy or a bad guy, because fuck it, he's a footballer at the end of the day. If you want to hold footballers up as your idols, as people to be looked up and cherished and adored, then listen, you're on a hiding to nothing, because ultimately, the what are they? Semi-educated children who are basically more than likely in it just for a few quid at the end of the day and occasionally some glory. Question marks for me over Phil Coutinho are more about whether he possesses the mental strength to continue to be a Liverpool player. We've seen the likes of Javier Mascherano told next season, mate, you get your move, put in a great performance that season. Xabi Alonso managed to deify his entire Liverpool career with one fantastic season in a red shirt before moving to Real Madrid. But here's the thing, and this is why it was so shocking about Phil Coutinho to put himself in these situations. Phil is, by all accounts, a really nice lad. Really nice fella. Keeps himself to himself. Hard worker. Family man. And doesn't seem to be driven, or didn't seem to be driven in the same way as a Luis Suarez, who has been quite merciless and quite mercenary in progressing his career through the years. When it came to signing new contracts... There was never a problem with Phil Coutinho. He was always happy to sign. He was never asking for ludicrous wages. He just wanted a solid contract to play for the football club that he liked playing for in the city where him and his family are now based. So yeah, so when we see him coming out and feigning injury and shying away from playing for Liverpool and kicking up a fuss behind the scenes, that seemed massively out of character. Now, in the context of general footballers, you think, oh yeah, well this happens all the time. And it does, but it did seem out of character. And that's the out of characterness that I am fearful for as far as Phil Coutinho's future is for Liverpool going forward. When the cameras are all pointed at him, when every pair of eyes in world football, let alone the Liverpool fans who may still yet be paying for his blood and they might be entitled to do that, they're all looking at him and they're looking at him for a performance. Does he have the mental strength and the ability on the football pitch to carry that burden as well as carrying the burden of being a top player for Liverpool Football Club. Now we've started to see signs of this and this is where the real diamond for Jürgen Klopp and of course Liverpool lies. Last season was his best in terms of goal and assist return. Year on year at Liverpool Football Club this man has been getting better and better at football but for a number of years he's threatened to have his breakout season. Last season was the closest he was likely to get to that. 14 goals and 9 assists. Not to mention the fact that 3 free kicks in that as well put him right at the top bracket of top quality footballers. So here we move to the dilemma for the manager. What do you do here? Because here's a guy who has essentially taken a big poo on your breakfast table or whatever. It can't possibly be underestimated the fact that Liverpool played Hoffenheim in a Champions League qualifying round. Two matches away from achieving the base targets of the season before of qualifying for the group stage proper of the Champions League. And one of your best players basically decides he's not going to turn up for that because he's trying to engineer this move. That is, again, it's a breakfast table poo all over Jürgen's plans. And as we've already seen with the likes of Mamadou Sacco, does Jürgen Klopp have it in him 
to forgive and forget in this situation? And should he really? Should there be double standards set when you've got someone like Mamadou Sacco who's been bombed out? Should we be bringing Phil Coutinho back into the fold with open arms? We're talking again about a man who has potentially jeopardised Liverpool's qualification for the Champions League and not just taking a breakfast table dump on Jürgen's plans, but the plans of Liverpool Football Club going forward, he could have knocked Liverpool's development as a football club back 12 months by the club not being in that group stage. So do Liverpool bring him back in? Absolutely yes. You know why? Because in spite of all the hypocrisy that it presents, poor old Mamadou Sacco, oh, poor old Phil, we love you really, come back, all is forgiven. Fuck it. You know what? Phil Coutinho is a tremendous footballer and Liverpool will be cutting off their nose despite their face to continue to be cheerless, to have the childishness and the cheerlessness escalate. What Liverpool need to do and what the manager needs to do is draw a firm line underneath this and say, you know what, mate, you're going to take your licks. We're going to punish you for it because you deserve to be punished because bell end. But you know what? We believe in you. We believe you can be rehabilitated and we believe it's also a World Cup year, Phil. You need to put a performance in that really you can get your head straight with our help and you can catapult Liverpool to what they want to be doing this season and what you as a player as well. Because honestly, for Phil Coutinho's development, Barcelona came too soon this summer. Anyone who's watched him, I think he's a terrific player. I genuinely think Phil Coutinho is a tremendous footballer. But based on what we saw last season, is he good enough to play for Barcelona week in, week out? On his best days, yeah. But his best days weren't happening week in, week out for Liverpool. To go and fill Neymar's boots as well, I just simply don't think Coutinho was ready. He needs this season. And if he has this season and he puts this season, and this is his genuine breakout season, if he continues the development that he's had since joining Liverpool Football Club, well, you know what? Barcelona are going to come knocking again. They're going to come begging at Phil Coutinho's feet again. And you know what? If he achieves what he can achieve with Liverpool this season and Liverpool comfortably qualify for the Champions League, if they make a good fist in the Champions League, if they get out of the group stage, if they get to the knockout, if they do something decent, if they go better in the league and not just scrape top four but challenge for a league title maybe Phil Coutinho has the power back in his hands all of a sudden and he can make an educated decision about what he wants to do with his future am I happy with him no of course not because bell end absolute bell end you flaming steaming knobhead what have you done do I understand having his head turned yeah a little bit we've all Past a backward glance as an attractive person has walked past us in the past. The pervs amongst us anyway. He's only human. The temptation from Barcelona is always going to be there. Especially when you consider the lengths and efforts they've gone to. All the kind words. All the promises that were clearly made. All the fake unveiling ceremonies that they had set up for him. All that he's going to be on the team sheet at the weekend. All the noise that they've made. Of course, having someone like that desperately interesting, you're always going to turn your head. But you know what? Phil Coutinho is at a pivotal part of his career here and Liverpool are at a pivotal part of their resurgence as a football club. Is it ideal? Of course it's not. But is there an opportunity to bring things back together again and use the little bit of anger there as an impetus to kick on and do something more to prove the doubters wrong, to prove the haters wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Could that mean a very exciting season for Liverpool Football Club with a reintegrated Phil Coutinho? Yeah, I genuinely believe it could. But you know what? Time's going to tell. Maybe Jürgen Klopp will bear hug him so hard that his eyeballs will pop out. But you know what? What I'd do, I'd smear the door handles of his car in shit, cover his car in Barcelona flags, spray paint the side of his house with FCB, put a Coutinho shirt in his locker on fire, give him tunnel of death as he comes back into Melwood training, digs on the arm, wet willies, whatever, whatever it takes. Get him back on side and get Liverpool competitive to the level that we know they can be this season. Can Liverpool go further? You know what, who knows? But I believe that they can. Anyway, just my thoughts on the Phil Coutinho situation. For what it's worth. Subscribe. Click there and subscribe. Nice one.